പക്ഷെ ഏറ്റവും കൂടുതൽ പ്രസംഗിക്കപ്പെട്ടിട്ടുള്ള പാസേജും ഇത് തന്നെയായിരിക്കും ഇതിനകത്ത് രണ്ട് പ്രോബ്ലം ഇൻസൈഡ് ദിസ് ടു പ്രോബ്ലംസ് ഒന്ന് കള്ളു കുടിക്കാൻ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നവർക്ക് ഒരുപാട് ആശ്വാസമുള്ള ഒരു സംഭവമാണ് രണ്ട് കർത്താവിന്റെ അമ്മയെ ആരാധിക്കാൻ ആഗ്രഹിക്കുന്നവർക്ക് second those who really want to worship the mother of jesus avarku alpa anugulya ullad pole thonuna bhagavan they have some advantages given to this passage enna padichu varumbo oru avadhariyum illa enna sradhicha manasilavu but when you study it more clearly there is no compromise on it at all onnamada ee madhyavikunnathine kuriche bible endha parayunnana njan ningale kaanikka i would like to show you first what does the bible say about being drunken or being intoxicated better than to write the sadrashya vakyangal 23 please read with read quickly proverbs chapter 23 29 23 29 verse 29 വെറുതെ അവിടെ എവിടെയൊക്കെ മുറി ഉണ്ടാകുന്നു ആർക്ക് തീഞ്ഞു പിടിച്ചുകൊണ്ട് നേരം വൈകിക്കുന്നവർക്കും മദ്യം രുചി നോക്കാൻ പോകുന്നവർക്കും തന്നെ ാണ് <laughs> it is the grace that has been adavare bhakshanathil sadharana upayogikkarulladan it is normally used in food items padani mathil oru manushanoda vardichirikkanna kaaryam parayappol veenju madhyo vanna eduthu parayirikkunu adinal veenja madhyam alla nu varu in the old testament there are certain things that have been commanded by the law to be set apart or be to be kept refrain from and that is wine and intoxication മദ്യപാനി ദൈവരാജ്യം കാണുകയില്ലെന്ന കൊരുന്നു ലേഖനത്തിൽ വ്യക്തമായി എഴുതിയിരിക്കുന്നു he studied it for his convenience as said before randamatha problem the second problem kartavane amme aaradhikkan idu oru aanugulyam aayittu thonu many people see this as an as a loophole to worship the mother of jesus valare sradhikkana namukku valare kurichu samayame ullu we have a very short time please listen carefully sradhikkuga kartavane ammeye kuriche parayumadella ende hrudayam santosham kondu nanni kondu nirayugaya whenever i speak about the mother of jesus my heart is always ഒരു വായു ജസ്റ്റ് സിംപ്ലി ലുക്ക് 
person's face there is two ears and just one mouth it means whatever you hear speak just half of that the ear is expressed outside, protruding outside to tell us hear or hear intently. There is no covering for these two organs. But there is a covering for our mouth. That means when it is necessary only open it. If you want your problems in the house to decrease, to close your mouth and open your ears. If the problems in the church should decrease, close your mouth and open your ears. Especially sisters. The mother of Jesus spoke very less. In the New Testament, we see an apostle that was replaced for the apostle who hung himself. The mother of Jesus was just sitting next to him. She didn't say a word. If she had opened her mouth, she would have got a chance. Because she is an influencer. If she would have told a word that let the Peter be the boss instead of uh, James, then that would have happened. She was very silent during that time. She was not at all involved in any administrative affairs of the church. If we had some sort of influence, would we ever keep silent? If we don't have, need to have a relationship with Jesus, we should have some relationship with the president's brother-in-law's brother-in-law, cousin relation. Then we will misuse all that influence. Truly, even though she was the mother of the Son of God, she didn't do anything wrong. If this mother is honored in such a way, these are the qualities that we are supposed to learn. Okay. Amen. In this matter, what did this mother do? In this matter, here we see that they inform this matter to the mother of Jesus. Mother spoke to Jesus. Sometimes we see a shortcut, or perhaps it happens to a project that we tell the mother of Jesus. The mother of Jesus tells Jesus himself. Sometimes we feel, oh, this might be right. But there is a more shortcut to that. I and you can talk to Jesus directly. You are not being convinced about that, right? More than seeing up your pastor, it is more easy to see Jesus. If it's a very chief pastor, it's so difficult to see him. You have no difficulty in seeing Jesus. Even the woman who was set to be stoned did not have a mediator to come directly at the feet of Jesus. Even Sakaias, the ruler, did not have any mediator to come to Jesus directly. The woman who was tormented with the issue of blood also didn't want a mediator to come to Jesus. Please, Please understand this concept. You have direct access to Lord Jesus Christ. Even if you are holy or even if you are unholy, you can come directly to Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus hates sin, but he loves the sinner. 